In The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Nick Carraway has the archetype of a maven, which according to Malcolm Gladwell, the author of The Tipping Point, is an information broker who shares what they know. What makes him a maven is the fact that he is so much more mature than the others and has much more information and wisdom than all of them. Nick lives in a small house next to the mansion of Jay Gatsby and attended Yale University. He's a very straight-headed man, and because he is so much more mature than the people he's surrounded by, he has many opportunities to share information and advice, which is why he is a maven. This picture shows us what a maven is, that mavens are the type of people who connect others through ways of sharing knowledge. This is similar to Nick Carraway because he Nick is able to connect people such as Gatsby and his cousin Daisy through ways of knowledge on what Daisy likes and how to impress her. He also shares with Gatsby what to do and what not to do. And by Nick doing this, he is connecting two different people to the best of his ability through ways of sharing information. The picture of the dove resembles Nick Carraway because he is a peaceful man who does not instigate anything, always tries to do the right thing, and is a bringer of peace and information. This picture of a man in a suit resembles Nick Carraway as a maven because in order to be one, you need to be mature, straight-headed, and somewhat professional, and Nick meets all of those traits. During the scene in The Great Gatsby when Tom and Jay Gatsby are arguing in the hotel room suite, Nick is calm, collected, and does not join in, but he does try to use his words to bring an end to the argument. He is more mature and wise than all of his friends, and that's including his cousin Daisy, which is why he fits the archetype of a maven, because he always shares what is on his mind at the right time. This is also similar to the magnifying glass because it represents precision and also intelligence. In The Crucible by Arthur Miller, we see the salesman archetype, which is shown by Abigail Williams through her influence and power over many others. A salesman is extremely persuasive in inducing others' buying decisions and behaviors through his or her unusual charisma. She is selfish, manipulative, and a great liar. In The Crucible, Abigail is the leader of a group of girls who follow her and act as she does, no matter what it may be. For example, when in the church during the trial, Abigail began to scream while testifying, stating that she could see the devil. The girls noticed what she was doing and joined Abigail by looking up into the sky and say, stating that they could also see the devil and attempting to hide from it. This shows how someone with such a persuasive and unusual charisma can take control over all types of people. This picture well represents Abigail Williams because it is a representation of how she has control over the group of younger girls that are in the crucible, and that they are essentially her puppets. This relates back to her being a salesman because she is so manipulative that she can gain control over many people and use it to her advantage, such as convincing judges that innocent people are guilty and getting them hung. You can relate Abigail Williams to this photo because of what she did in the crucible. Her whole act about witchcraft was a lie, but nobody could see through it except for who was killed due to her being a magnificent liar and very persuasive, which goes back to her being a very good salesman. This next photo also shows how the girls see her as a leader and would follow her no matter what she did. This last photo is related to Abigail because of her extreme selfishness. In the crucible, she got innocent people killed and ruined the lives of many just for her own personal interest and entertainment. 